Hi guys, welcome back to a little more Animal Crossing New Horizons. Uh, don't really know if there's anything much going on on my island today. Uh, may also head over to the archipelago. Uh, maybe in this video, I'm not sure. I, I know that Lottie told me, I played a little bit over the weekend, but I didn't record it. Um, but Lottie did mention that Wardell wanted to speak to me. So I don't know. Now that I've said all of that, I'll probably do that in a separate video. <laughs> Sorry. I think this is just going to be a running around checking in on my island. I'm a little distracted today. Um, I, if anybody watched my hospital build that I was doing on Friday for our island, I mentioned I had a loved one that was in the hospital and sadly she did not make it. My stepsister who's only a year older than me, passed away this weekend. And um, so it's, it's, it's been a, little, a rough few days. Um, fortunately, her children and her mother and stepfather got to go see her. And so that, that, that's, you know, a little bit of a gift that they got to have a last moment with her. Um, it was unexpected and I'm not meaning to bring you all down. I just needed to get it off my chest and let you guys know what's going on with me. Um, otherwise I've been kind of just sort of cleaning my house and getting things organized around here and I just need a little mental health break from real life right now and I thought let's just kind of check in on my villagers see what's going on. I didn't play a ton over the weekend obviously with everything going on. Um, I did get if any of you watched Friday's video you saw I had Wendy at my campsite. I did get her to move out. I mean, to move in. Kyle has moved out. I had two smugs. And so I picked Kyle over Quilson because at the time I only had Kyle's picture, but Quilson has since given me his. Okay, we have Label visiting us today. So yeah, we will help her with some research. So um, I did, though, when I went to Paradise... <coughs> excuse me, the... Paradise planning place to see Lottie and all of that to see what was for sale at the shop over the weekend. Um, Kyle was sitting there on the beach and when I got ready for work, he chased after me, calling after me and asked me to design a house for him. Um, I actually saved a picture of him talking to me. Uh, I'll show you. It was kind of cute. At first I didn't think he recognized me. <laughs> Oh yeah, I bought 6,000 turnips, which is a lot for me. I don't like making two trips to sell them. Anyway, um, look, I thought he didn't recognize me, but as soon as I got changed for work, he's like, hey, if it isn't my friendo Moxie who works at Paradise Planning. So he wanted me to do a house full of lights and I haven't finished it. I've only started the exterior. So I might finish this build later on today after I've done the rest of my chores still have to do all that fun dusting and vacuuming but then i'm done and our house is like really clean my husband was great he helped me uh with stuff i haven't been able to do around here because of my knee so i'm no longer embarrassed if people were to pop in not that anybody does oh gosh i have a lot of mail um i need that i want to see how these look in a certain spot i've been working on Are these the bushes i guess well, let's just check our mail. I'm sorry if I'm really rambling. Just kind of needed to get out of my head a bit and um, do something a little fun. Or, you know, just you all know how these games can kind of be our therapy, our our little escape from everything going on. I don't even remember what all I bought. Hi, Daisy May sent us probably bamboo shoots. Sly. I thought of a simple way to train my fingers. By writing letters, I can correspond with you while giving my digits a workout at the same time. My hands are going to be incredibly muscular. Thanks, Sly. Um, I've got... Oh! I t somehow, I don't know how I've done it, but on the first try, two days in a row, I was able to make the perfect little snow boys. So before I forget, let's talk to them. I bet if I try and do it on camera, probably not going to do it. <laughs> it won't work out, but I'll still try. Oh, excuse me. 
Here's a large snowflake for an expert snow sculptor. So, and I got the uh, DIY for the frozen wall and this doohickey. <laughs> I'm forgetting the names of everything. And the uh, snowflake wreath. So I made one of... Uh, seasonal. I forgot seasonal's up here now. So yeah, we have the frozen partition, the frozen art, and the snowflake wreath. Those are my only three DIYs for this time of year so far. So that's okay. Um, let's go up. I, this is probably just going to be a really kind of random scattered video. Let's dig up our gyroid. <clears throat> oh, wallopoid. I know we have least one of those. <coughs> Excuse me. I've been dusting and I feel like I have some like <laughs> grit in my throat. It's so gross. I'm sorry. Um, oh. I didn't pay attention. Oh, that's probably from um Daisy May. How nice. Kabu Hong Kong Hong Kong K? I am so... It's amazing how many food terms and things I don't know. So that uses uh, 10 turnips. Well, we'll have to grab some turnips. Matter of fact, let's just do that. Do we have a Nook Miles to cook up a storm? No. <laughs> That's okay. But let's do that before I forget. Um, I don't think my kitchen's really changed much since you last saw it. And I don't have a lot of bathroom stuff. I've only just started putting a few things in here and I put up some fun wallpaper. <coughs> Excuse me. Some tiled wall, like a little mural. I don't think I'm going to keep this look going, but it was just something bright and cheery. Let me have a little sip of water. Sorry, I don't know what is in my throat. That's going to drive me crazy. Uh, my turnips are down here. Yeah, I only bought like 6,000 of them. I usually only buy three because I'm too lazy to even clear out my uh, the top row of my inventory. <laughs> so this will require... Uh, grab 10. Will require two trips when I go to sell them unless I get lucky here. Got to bite them. Put those in storage. Let's just get everything organized before I start running around. Yeah, I've been playing around with stuff up at Rhonda's house. I got rid of the castle stuff. It's just, I'm like, this isn't working for me. Maybe it'd be fun to uh, make a little castle at some point on my island, really doing it right with different levels and all of that. But I was just trying to force something that just wasn't going to look good the way I was doing it. So enough of that. <sighs> so how's everybody doing? I'd love to have read some comments from you guys. What are your some of your favorite new things um, with all the new content? Are you enjoying enjoying the new items? Do you like the gyroids? Do you have any ideas for things I should do on my island? Like I still have <laughs> one, two, three. Uh, I think six houses that I'm going to need to place. What kind of little areas should I give them? I'm not a fan of turnips, so this, this dish does not appeal to me a lot. Um, yeah, let's go out. Let's go up to Rhonda's. I may actually even move a house up here to be neighbors with her. We'll just go outside and go our little secret squirrel way with our, li our little ladder. <laughs> oh, we'll go say hi to Wendy now that she's all moved in. She was still in boxes yesterday. Oh no, my snowballs are up here. Uh, I, you know what? We're going to let those reset. I'm just, that's too many trees to navigate. Sorry. Not going to happen. <laughs> we'll deal with that later. Oh, Maple's home. Let's go say hi to her first, see if she's crafting or cooking anything. Uh, 
Oh, I love her little house. What's the latest, Maple? I like baking cherry cake. But if I just keep making the same thing again and again, I think I might get tired of eating cherries. Yeah? That's why I want to try my idea for a fortune-telling cherry cake with paper fortunes baked inside of it. You'll have to come over and try some, assuming I can make my recipe work. I don't really need fortunes inside of my cakes, but whatever makes her happy. <laughs> Maybe just try a different flavored cake. So I still need to... I stunted the growth of that tree, so I like it that little size. I don't like that I've like lined my trees up like on each corner, but... Not in love with the campsite, but I'm not hating it. It's all right. I feel like I need something here to close it off, but I don't want to do a fence because then it'll be really hard to fish in the pond. And I'm keeping this ladder here for now because it makes getting up here really easy. Hey, what are you doing up here, Angus? Oh, I forgot I wanted to go grab the fountain from down below because I was thinking maybe I should put a fountain here. I have the large one I just bought, um, but I think well, the, the new one with like the little, what does it have on it? Dolphins or something? I think it's going to be too big for here. Oh, it's not as big as I thought. Well, maybe we will keep this one here. That's kind of neat. Then maybe put some flowers around. Something like that. I just want to see what the other side looks like. Nice. Yeah, let's leave that here. Maybe some more bushes, some flowers. I was going to leave this spot open in the middle for a statue. I kind of like the idea of a little statuary garden, but we can just put the uh, table and chairs back here. I had them here and then moved them. And I didn't really have anything that I liked or on top of the table yet, so I just picked a gold rose. Is that back far enough? Let me pick this up. I want this all the way back. All right. And put, oh, put the table back. Squish it. Gotta make room for walking by easily. Put the rose back. And then the other chair. I'm not sure which way I want the seats to face. I guess facing the table. And then I could put a little some flowers or a little statue or something here maybe. So yeah, I got rid of the, the medieval walls and the castle towers and the columns and all of that. So I'll figure out something else to put here. Let's say hi to Rhonda. Hmm. Oh, I know what I was thinking I could do. I can go by, I think, on the archipelago. Um, that uh, big, like, bonsai tree, but like a large outdoor one like we used for Shino's build. And maybe that would look pretty over here in Drago's area somewhere. Hey, hey, there's my Drago. He is always hanging out in front of his house. I think he really likes it. The sun and moon are happy. Aww. He's such a happy little guy. I did put an invisible path down around a lot of here just to try and keep this area clean from and from the flowers just going too crazy. Oh, a balloon. Hey, hey, I don't always get them on the first try. I don't know why I'm always a little struggly with that. Oh, I had some other items I was maybe going to put down up at Rhonda's. Powder room booth. All right. Let's put that here. Yeah, I forgot I have... Oh, I have the round topiary in my storage, too. Let's 
let's just get them out and fiddle. Oh, and the floor light was for in front of this guy, I think. I want each statue to have its own light. I don't know if I can get that closer. Oh! <laughs> Use me, sir. But probably not. No. Yeah, I had it just right where it could go, and now I've messed with it. <laughs> I'll never get it back now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, helps if I face the right way. Oh, Angus, look at you looking at that snowflake. It's so cute. So yes, now I think each statue has a light. I don't think I want any of the topiary in, in here. And I'll have to have them colored, ch color changed. Ooh, I could maybe do that to fill it in a little bit. Excuse me, buddy. Let's put our storage shed down and get the uh, other ones out. Um, just still kind of trying to figure out each little villager's special place. How best to do it. But I kind of like this fountain in front of the gazebo. I think that's kind of pretty. Oh, my washing machine's going, so you might hear it. It's uh, vibrating the wall a little bit. Should I change the color because of the time of year? Let's do you more like this. Push it back a little. Mm, that's kind of interesting. Can I place you over just a little bit further this way? Nope. <laughs> I don't know. I might just have to live with it for a little bit. I'm just gonna leave it up and not... I'm not going to uh, customize them yet. I need to feel it out. Yeah, I gotta try and get that one a little closer to the house, I think. Pick up the gazebo to do it. <laughs> Stand straight! <laughs> No, I like it back a little further. So obviously I want them to be the same color. Probably the green. I wish they would get little um, tufts of snow on them. That would be nice. Oh, Angus. Okay. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, that might work. And then I still have to figure out, I don't know if I want the flower planters. Do I have any of those? Or just maybe... Maybe even a little railing or just a row of flowers. Whoops. Oh gosh. <laughs> Hitting all the wrong things. We want to get something out, please. <laughs> it's quite a close-up of that statue we had. <laughs> oh, couldn't re remember even what I was looking for. Yeah, I've got the ash, the evergreen ash. I don't think I want those up here. No, I don't have any more of the planters. I don't want to play with these in my uh, near my plaza. Uh, I have no idea <laughs> really where any of it should go. Or if I should do it a little bit farther away where I have more room. Petitions. Why am I forgetting what things are? Oh yeah, I picked up a couple of those. Because when this was a seating area, I thought, well, maybe we'll put some plant partitions here, but I don't think so now. Obviously, they need to be customized. 
I think that's probably just a no. I think I like the idea. <laughs> I'd like the idea of just flowers here, I think. We could line this with them, though, maybe? I don't know. That might create a little opening there and then the rest be plant partitions. Mm, no, I think we'll leave that alone. Let's put those away. Let's put everything I don't want out right now away. <laughs> Angus, you're killing me, bud. <laughs> I love your flame tea, though. It's pretty cool. All right. Keep that. Keep that. Okay, let's go on down. Sometimes, you know, you just have to drop stuff around to kind of get an idea of how it's going to look or work in an area. Let's look for my message in the bottle. Still have to figure out a home for all of my flowers. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like, hey, I worked hard to get these hybrids on my first island. I wasn't going to just abandon them. And I certainly didn't want to go through the whole process again. Oh my gosh, I'm going the wrong way. I still like my little parking lot here with my Nook's Cranny truck. That makes me happy. And... Oh, that's Wendy's house right there, so we'll have to find her. Let's see what's for sale in the store. Do I have money? No. How do I not have money? <laughs> Let's get 40k out. Probably because I took money out to buy turnips and then didn't get a little spending moolah while I was at it. I spent about 600,000 on turnips, I think. Or just under. Ooh, pretty. I did buy... Oh, there's Wendy. Hey, girl. You here to check out new clothes too, Moxie? Nice. Oh, can I coordinate your outfit? Yes. No. Let me coordinate your everything. Oh, my. Let me make you fabulous, lambkin lambkins. Okay. <laughs> Find something you like? My personal rule for when I find something cute is to buy it pronto. See, I spend my bills with as little thought as possible, so I never have to ask myself, what was I thinking? Well, you, I mean, you can't really argue with that logic. Oh, every time she looks at that tas tapestry, she gets this warm feeling inside like when she would hug me. That's so sweet. I really like the Able Sisters. Oh, that's right. We've got Label here. First, I, will, I just want to see what's for sale. I still don't have... I mean, my clothing collection is growing. I just don't have a lot to choose. That Like, a lot that I would actually wear. <laughs> okay, a Freddy Krueger sweater. I like this little mod parka. Is that new? I don't really remember that. Wish there were some pants other than sweatpants. Ooh, a little beret. Oh my. I have a faux fur hat. I don't remember what color though. <laughs> we could wear that. Ooh, faux shearling boots. That looks comfy. <laughs> we'll purchase some wear this. There we go. Thanks, Mabel. Let's go into Nook's Cranny, see what's for sale there. Oh, I do kind of like this too. How much is it? A palatial tank dress. 25, yeah, I'll buy it. I meant to get one or look at it when I was in the dressing room. Hmm. Oh 
my, excuse me, yawning a bit. Didn't sleep well. So could use a little nap. I might even do that. The housework I have left to do won't take long at all. I just, I just have to vacuum my office and the bedroom and then dust and vacuum the living room. Oh cool, the racetrack. What do we have up here? Oh, that's cute. <laughs> How much is it? Guys. <laughs> A dreamy hanging decoration. I'll buy it. A little, a little shopping therapy. And I don't have the antique desk, I don't think. Oh, excuse me, bureau. Um, yeah, I'll buy it. Oh, and I don't know if I started to say this, but I need to go over to Harv's Island and see what new stuff we have available this week. There goes all my bells. <laughs> Let's see what turnip prices are. I feel like I'm due for a good week, but probably not. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> I will see you later. So let's go say hi to Label. See, I was wondering if I should use this area for the ferris wheel and stuff, but I have... I know I can make this a little smaller. It doesn't have to be that big. And I even have the river mouth on the other side of my island. I might just plunk these down right now just to kind of get a feel for what they look in the space. I kind of like the pastel colors that they originally came in for my island. I got some others and then custom had them customized to be the darker black color because I also like that. That does stand out kind of nice on the snow. I'm just trying to figure out what to do with these. This is not where I'm going to keep them permanently. Oh, God bless you, Scarlet. She's in the other room and she was just sneezing. But it could be kind of fun. I don't know. I almost like the pastel, but I think it's going to be a little too washed out with the uh, snow. I want us to see how big everything looks. Wow. So cute. Oh. That's for my use. Thank you. Obviously, I don't have everything yet. Wait, am I really playing it? Oh, I kind of am, huh? <laughs> cute. I, yeah, I, I think, I think there could be a way, but I might want them, like, maybe start a little path that works its way over to here, where I have, like, I don't know if I want to go with a full-on amusement park vibe, but it might be kind of fun. Good morning, so happy to see you bright and early, la-di-da. What's the latest, Robin? Oh, first I'll alphabetize my purse collection, then I'll... Oh, hello, I do hope your day isn't as busy as mine, la-di-da. <laughs> so fancy, la-di-da. Um, yeah, let's just head over to Harv's. I know this is kind of really not much of a purpose to this video, other than I needed a break from real life, and I'm taking you all on that break with me. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh! And when we get back, I have a surprise to show you over by my farm. <laughs> Ooh, cliffhanger. <laughs> uh, visit Harb's Island, please. I need a little more water. Yeah, all packed and stuff. Time for takeoff. Hmm. I feel very spacey. My mind just keeps wandering today. Touch down like reading novels in a pocket knife. We are parked and proud. Give a quack to wingback. <laughs> 
Oh, might as well take out a little more money. <laughs> Just in case. I want to see what other colors I can have my uh, the plaza items done in, but I'll probably stick with the black. Uh, what do you have today, Kix? Uh, wrestling shoes. But yeah, we've got all of... I don't have the garter socks, I don't think. Oh, I'll get a sword and scabbard. What the heck? Sure. I have no idea what I'll do with it, but maybe it'll look cute hanging up on a wall or something. Or with a costume. Mm, I think that's good. <laughs> Let's put it on. I almost look like a costume with this jacket and this hat. Yeah, we'll wear it. <laughs> Um, oh, that's a real statue because it doesn't have the sword, if I am remembering correctly. I can't remember. I'm definitely going to buy this today. And then tomorrow I might come back from the painting. I think that one, if the eyebrows are going a certain way on the painting, um, it's a fake. I just can't remember which way. But I think this is legitimate because it doesn't have him holding a sword. I want to take a close look at this. I don't have my my phone or tablet with me to look. But we'll take a close look at it. I can't remember if those eyebrows are correct or not. I want to say not. Uh, let's do a raffle. I haven't done a raffle item in a while. Oh, and I finally got a gift from Katrina. I had her, I paid the 10,000 bells for a cleanse. Oops, I'm doing this wrong. Sorry, Red. Um, and she sent me, I'll, sh if, I'll try to remember to show you guys. It's a horseshoe that I hung up on my wall. I'm in. Red's um, raffle items like the food and soda are really handy. Yeah, orange mint cone. These are great if you're wanting to move some trees and stuff. I think it's you get three uh, food buff chargey thingies. Uh, no thanks. Let's see. Oh, do you have any hydrangeas? Because that's what I have going up at Rhonda's house. I'm not worrying about bushes being in season. I um, actually don't mind it when they're not blooming. And it's then it's a happy, pretty surprise. Uh, Plumeria. Mm, no. Uh, a happy surprise when they do start to bloom. Let's see what. Oh. Tortimer's back. Hi, Sahara. Was I calling her Katrina? I would like to see what you. <gasps> Finally! Finally, after what, a year and a half, because I didn't start playing till like July of 2020, the cafe curtain wall. So this should be available on my island all week. If anybody would like a cafe curtain wall, I can buy it for you <laughs> and arrange for you to come get it or I will drop it off. Which one is this? Here we have the apparel shop wall. I don't really want that. Gym flooring. Scramble crosswalk, neat. I have that. Peach checkered rug. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that. Deal. I don't think I'll use that welcome rug, but I might buy it. I'm gonna buy another cafe curtain wall while I'm in here. So yeah, seriously guys, anybody wants it, just, just leave a comment. And we will figure out how to get it to you. I wouldn't mind having a few more friends to add to my Nintendo Switch. I only have four, three or four, four or five friends on my Switch who used to play and now really just don't. So, more the merrier. I just want a fun, 
safe place, you know, emotionally safe. I, you know, I want a non-toxic group of friends where we're all just accepting and kind to one another. Oh, I might not be doing... Oh, let's see what the dreamy comes in besides purple and black. Okay, I might do that, but first let's see... Uh... I like the cute. I also like the cool. I actually like the... Cl I like them all. I think that's a little too colorful for me. Um, makes it a little more juvenile, but it's still really happy. So do I want to just go everything with cool? The cute is so sweet. Though, and on the snow, it's really kind of pops. But let's go with the cool. Let's just get everything matching. So then when I do kind of figure out what I want to do, at least it's all ready to go. Okay, I forget how many pieces I need to do. If it's just two more... Train's done. The balloon wagon and the stand, I think. The merry-go-round is black, I think. Yeah. And the game stand. Okay, so I'll do that, but I also want to see, did this one need it? No. So just this. Okay. I don't want to say I need something and then not, because he's like, so you're just going to leave me hanging like that? Or whatever. Don't want to upset him. <laughs> I'm going to... Chuck all of this in my storage while I'm here. I want to take off my sword. I feel like I'm stuck. Oh, not my shoes! Brr. Oh, we forgot to talk to Label. When I want to check the recycle bin. I emptied it out yesterday. I keep hoping to get some of the sloppy items in there. All of you away. Uh, I'm good. I want to talk to Katrina because it seems... I don't know how often she sends gifts. And I don't know if it's only after she's had to perform a cleanse. Or what. Or if it's just a certain amount of, of fortunes. But I don't talk to her every day, so... We shall see... Did you guys ever notice, and probably I'm the last to know, that last line is, line is the crystal knows all backwards? <laughs> I saw somebody else mention that on one of their videos. Shake a tree and bells will fall. Oh, nice. I'm glad I haven't done this yet. Travelers flock to discover an island's wealth. From this vision, I deduce that your luck with money will improve. Nice. I usually forget to come talk to her before I shake trees and hit rocks and stuff. So that's good. I think that means I'll dig up uh, my money tree spot. will have 5,000 bells in it instead of one. So that's nice. So let's, um, yeah, I want to go show you guys something in my farm area. Excuse me, a little burpee. <laughs> and, um... Uh, let's see what label, what kind of look label wants us to put together. Could go see if anybody's at the roost. I did get to the next reward from him over the weekend. I got the siphon. So I put that up in my kitchen. I don't know if you noticed it there. I forgot to point it out. I, always, <laughs> I keep running past this turn. Oh, I have to be careful running through here sometimes. You'd think I was drunk or something the way I kind of um, <laughs> swerve all around and run into everybody. Before I do label, I want to go show you what I discovered. It was a surprise to me. I Gosh, I am forgetting how to get around my island. Oh yeah, I had a few shooting stars last night. Just a couple. Still no Celeste. I've only had her the one time. And I have been really good about popping in every night. <clears throat> like, 
before going to bed. Look! I didn't think I was at five stars yet. Last I had heard, I was only at four. You know, but I started doing Rhonda's area with some hedges and stuff, and I guess that was just enough. Even though, like, a good two-thirds of my island isn't even developed yet, it's enough that I got my first lily, lily of the valley. Let's dig this up. So that was kind of a fun treat. Ugh, I, well, I will have enough bells once I dig it up. Yep, dug up 5,000. That is nice. Let's put it away and then take out 10. Whew, was afraid I was going to screw that up somehow. It's been known to happen before. <clears throat> All right, so let's go back down. See Miss Label. And I'll do a cap and tour later. I've been actually doing them at night. I don't know if that matters or not, but I keep hoping to get to um, the island with all the shooting stars. Okay, what fashion theme would you like today, Label? I will happily model it. Why not? Sporty outfit. Okay. I may not be sporty, but I can try and look sporty. Dance team jacket. Nice. Okay. I will do a fab sporty look. <coughs> Excuse me. Man, that is driving me nuts. Okay. And this is why... I have a cooler down on the beach. Let's get changed. Let's look real sporty. <laughs> uh, pants. <laughs> like, what am I looking for? Yeah, pants or something along those lines. <laughs> a grass skirt would be cute. Too bad the skirt doesn't go. Actually, do I have this jacket in another color? Why did I feel like I did? I guess I do not. Okay. <laughs> well, oh my gosh, I didn't. When did I get loungewear shorts? I don't remember those. I don't have any sporty type pants. Oh, this is sad. <laughs> I'm just going to go with the sweatpants. Do we have a little sporty cap? I feel like I wore that for her last challenge. <laughs> Hot dog eating contest. That's a sport. I don't like any of these hats with the, this outfit. We may go without a hat. Um, yeah, I guess we'll keep our bobby socks and just put some tennies back on. Not the most clever of outfits, but it'll fit the bill. Leather. Leather sneakers. Kitty sneakers. Those don't go because they don't have gold. Yeah, I just, I don't have a lot of really cute stuff yet. I feel like that's slower in coming than my last time around on an island. And maybe it's just because of the time of year. Please, please take a look. Oh, good. It's what she means. Oh, I could have put on some sporty glasses. I forgot about that. Thank you for the tickets. Oh, I love getting her little gifts, though. Let's see what the color hat is. Oh, 
All right. Awesome. <laughs> Let's go say hi to Brewster. And then I'll probably just wrap it up. I've got to get back to my real life chores and stuff. Blah. But it does feel good. I, you know, I dust and vacuum every week, but there are a few just kind of, um, grimy areas, you know, like behind the toilet or certain baseboards and stuff that I just, with my bad knee, I haven't been able to do properly. And so my husband was very sweet and he works so hard during the week, so I don't bug him about stuff around the house, but he got down and hands and knees and scrubbed baseboards for me and got little nooks and crannies I just haven't been able to reach with the vacuum and mop on my own so now it'll be really nice after oh that is heavenly it's rich and balanced with subtle floral notes I'm in love <laughs> wow that's a great coffee so it'll just be so nice before Christmas to have everything just the way we you know I like it <laughs> Okay, let's get our Nook Miles. I don't think we're ready for another gift, but we'll see. Oh, I should try and um, build a snow folk. Yep, no gifts. Got a little ways to go still. Maybe I'll find my snowballs and then we'll wrap it up. Hi, Blathers. Hopefully they're down on my big snowy... One of my bigger, emptier areas is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> no, they're going to be up in some weird, hard to reach place. <laughs> Hi, Quilson. Ridiculous. I was hoping to run into you. Let's chat. I'm just making it up as I go along, but I know one thing for sure. Moving to Turtle Time was the best decision I ever made. Because you live here. Aww. <laughs> He's really grown on me. I like Quilson. Looking for the snowballs. <clears throat> Yesterday they were tucked in around the trees here. I had to very carefully kick them out. Well, one of them was. The other wasn't. Two in here would have been mean. Oh, there's a balloon. No, I thought I saw a balloon. I think it was the pears <laughs> in the tree. Oh my. Here's snowballs. I did get a dung beetle, so I was able to donate that to the museum. So I think I'm just missing... Oh, there is a balloon. Uh, um... Tuna. I think that's what I'm missing. Well, hopefully you don't follow the river. And angle a little more this way. <clears throat> or I can get it over the bridge. I think it's cleared the water. Oh my gosh, there goes my voice again. Cool. Patchwork sofa chair. Oh, I have a couple of these. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. You never know, they might work somewhere. I would maybe like them better if you could get them in a solid and not a patchwork. Oh, there's one snowball. There's the other. Well, let's see if I can roll them around up here enough. I'm not the best at this. <clears throat> but like, like last year, I was very just uptight about it. Like if I didn't get it perfect, I would quit my game and reset and start over with, you know, without saving. And I'm just not doing that this year. It's whatever happens, happens. <laughs> Maybe I should do a little one. 
I think I eventually then just started to do whatever kind of shape. Oh, 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 nope. I could get it into like a big one or a little one or a lopsided one. Once I had the Nook Miles for making a certain number of them, I'm going to kick it into a tree. Angus? I love, oh, buddy. Okay. I wonder if I should do a smaller one. Let's see how these look next to each other. No, that is not. I need to make this one. I'm going to try a smaller one. I just think I need to make the base just a wee bit bigger. Oh, oh, careful, careful. Well, I think that's close. We'll see. Whoop. Oh, so close. I, I wasn't sure. Sorry. Sorry, buddy. You're welcome. I'm sorry you're not perfect. This seems like a very nice island. It'll be fun hanging out here. Well, we'll be happy to have you here. He's not that far off. I got him pretty close. I knew on camera I wouldn't get it the first time, but that's okay. Mm. All right. Well, we're going to end this here. Thank you for coming along on a mental health break with me. I appreciate it. And um, yeah, so if anybody needs that cafe curtain wall, if that, that's what that was called that I just got from Sahara, let me know. I can buy some for you and drop them off or have you come pick them up. And if you have any ideas or pictures you want to share of your island to give me a little inspiration to help me with placing the rest of my houses, I would love to see what you guys are working on. So take care. I'll see you all soon.